Okay, good, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, OCP. Welcome, welcome. I'm Matt Joyce, Corporate Vice President for New Business Development at the Lubrizol Corporation. We're here and uh, we're introducing, really excited to introduce a little bit more information about our Compuzol Immersion Fluid Solutions. And I'm joined here by a number of my colleagues, Dr. Amy Short, Mr. Pat Aquila, and what we wanted to do today over the next uh, 15, 20 minutes is take the opportunity to just share a little bit about who Luberzol is, what we're doing in this space. We also want to bring to your attention what we've used and how we've developed thermal management and where we're focusing our, our time and attention. This isn't something that's new for us. We've been in this space for over 30 years. We're also going to be sharing with you, and we've heard a lot about it at a number of the discussions had over the past two days here at OCP, is around whether or not single phase immersion cooling has a long runway. And the short answer is, yes, it does. And we'll share with you a little bit about the work that we're doing to enable that to be the case. We'll also let you hear about, and Pat Aquila will take us through the story of a case study which we've done, which compares air-cooled versus immersion-cooled. Luberzol is a very data-driven company, and we are absolutely focused on bringing you results that are actual, factual, and quantitative. And we'll share a little bit about that exciting news. And then very finally, we'll take the last opportunity to introduce what we think is going to be further enabling the conversion to immersion to take place, and that is our work with Intel over the past couple of years with our collaboration there. So just by way of introduction, the Luberzal Corporation is part of the Berkshire Hathaway family of companies. We've been wholly owned and a subsidiary of Berkshire Hathaway since 2011. We are based in Cleveland, Ohio, and have about 9,000 employees. Um, on a global basis. We supply into over 100 different countries around the world, and uh, we have over 100 different manufacturing facilities where we make our products to exacting standards. If you've ever seen a car, driven in a car, seen a tractor, ever washed your hands or cleansed your hands with Purell, you've used our products. Actually, about 50% of consumer products have a Luberzol ingredient of some sort included in them and industrial products the same way. We're a massive company that has what we'd like to say, we're kind of the intel inside of a lot of these consumer products and industrial products that have been on the markets for years and years. I'm gonna turn it over to my colleague, Dr. Amy Short, who's gonna share a little bit about our thermal management and our experience that we bring forward in this area of focus over the past many years. Thanks, Matt. At Luberzol, we really, really aim to be industry solution providers and technology enablers. We lean back on that 30 years of experience in the heat transfer business, as well as almost 100 years of formulating and delivering differentiated chemical solutions to engage in industry's top challenges and problem areas. As we set out to develop and design these CompuZol single phase immersion products, there were four focus areas that we really wanted to prioritize. First is to develop a differentiated offer in terms of heat transfer performance. We recognize if we're not really able to push the bounds of heat transfer, then customers won't want to accept this new and different technology area. But along with heat transfer are a couple of other things that really are critical enablers for adoption and acceptance of this new type of technology. The first is system compatibility and durability. There are a lot of components in those servers and a lot of components in the support infrastructure around those servers. The metals, the plastics, the soft materials, all of them have to be non-reactive in the presence of fluids. And this is a really complicated area and something that we actually do day to day in our normal business operation. We're very well suited to understand at a chemical level how do these molecules interact with different materials? And what is the effect of using fluids 
in contact with these materials over the lifetime of the product. The third area is regulatory and safety. This isn't always something that people think about when they're innovating and designing new products, but it's a reality. If you want to sell globally at scale, you have to recognize the regulatory requirements for our customers globally. And finally, efficiency and sustainability. This really is the punchline for immersion cooling. There's a huge opportunity for sustainability savings and for facility efficiency improvements when a customer transitions from an air-cooled facility to one that's cooled by single-phase immersion technology. One of the reasons why we were able to be so successful so quickly and to develop and innovate as agilely as we were was because we have quite a bit of testing capability and competency internally at Lubrizol already. We have foundations in the areas of automotive transportation, industrial sector, and also personal care and materials. We have all sorts of insights at a fundamental level about how individual types of chemistries can be combined to really enhance the product performance. There are two different types of work streams in terms of data generation and collection that we really lean on heavily at Lubrizol. The first is a more controlled scenario. It's R&D driven, where there's variables that can be controlled and insights that can be pulled out of the data that you generate. The second type of work stream that we really lean heavily on is real world testing, where there's a lot more complexity, a lot more variables, but it's much more reflective of what a customer experience might be like. This feedback loop between the techno commercial faces of our company has really allowed us to engage externally and deliver a product that's meaningful for users. What we're really interested in for our testing is optimizing our thermal performance, our materials compatibility profiles, and also the durability and lifetime of our products in use. What this allows us to do is to understand the why behind what we're seeing. Data is very easy to collect, it's very difficult to interpret, and it's even more challenging to formulate and to have an effect. What this allows us to access from a fluid, a server, and a tank perspective is to make informed decisions about next generation technology, to collaborate and to find partnerships in this space. And this is one of the reasons why OCP is so valuable to Lubrizol. We recognize it's not just the fluid in this system. There are many components that have to come together to make immersion cooling successful. I'm going to show a quick example of one of those R&D Insight work streams, and then I'm going to hand it over to Pat, who will give an example of a more customer workload-driven Insight uh, work stream. In this example that I'm showing here, what we did was we actually exposed a base oil PAO that is not formulated, and we benchmarked it against our Compuzol IM2015 product in accelerated stress testing. Highly controlled thermal oxidative stress conditions for eight weeks in the presence of metals that we would expect these fluids to be exposed in, a normal immersion scenario. You can see on the right the qualitative difference. There's a color change that occurs, and color change in general doesn't always indicate something's gone wrong, but it gives you an indication that something has happened. If you look at the chemistry makeup of the base oil, which is shown on the right in that IR spectra, there's a significant amount of compositional change to the product when it's just a base foil that's used. When no additives or formulated approach is taken, you often will see things like viscosity increases, uh, You'll see, you'll see things like acidity increases, and you'll see other effects like slime formation on the surfaces of your tank. All of these things impact the total efficiency and the PUE of your system, as well as the thermal performance of the fluid and the system together. Our formulated approach really does help you to avoid the oxidative stress that happens here. I'm gonna pass it over to Pat to talk about a real customer workload now. Thanks, Amy. So I'm here to give you a brief overview on the case study that we did at Lubrizol. So as you heard from Matt and Amy, Lubrizol is a large global chemical manufacturing uh, facility with key initiatives in uh, sustainability and employee safety. With that being said, 
we're a manufacturing facility that needs to keep track of safety incidents across all of our locations. Upon review of that data, we noticed that there was a large number of incidents that involved forklifts. Now these forklift incidents could be uh, collisions with another object, driving too close to a pedestrian, driving too fast, or driving outside of designated areas. So upon realization of that, we decided that we wanted to come up with an innovative solution using modern technologies like AI or machine learning in order to try to help reduce the number of incidents. So with that, we decided to partner with Google and use their AI capabilities in the cloud. So we started by sending video feeds to Google so that they could develop models to identify unsafe forklift traffic, okay? So then Google created these models and then we pushed these models down to edge devices so that they could do real-time video analysis of our security cameras and that would flag unsafe forklift traffic that would then send an alert to the operator supervisor who then would use that as a training opportunity to improve the driver's behavior, okay? So that was the first part of it. The second part of it was about sustainability, right? So we wanted to include sustainability in our application. So what we did was take two identical Intel Xeon powered servers running Google Anthos to be our edge devices. Now, the only difference between these two servers, one was going to be immersed in CompuSoft fluid, the other one was air cooled, okay? From that, we then measured thermal performance and utilization of the GPUs, CPUs, and memory, and we also collected the amount of uh, power that was consumed by each server. So by my next slide, you'll see that the thermal performance in the uh, uh, power consumed was less in the immersed server than the one that was air cooled, all right? Now I realize that this is a very specific application doing individual servers, but by looking at this data, you could extrapolate out how by going to a rack or a rack of servers or a complete data center, how the performance and efficiency of the CompuSol would have a significant impact on the uh, capabilities. And with that, I'll turn it over to Matt. Great, thank you so much. Uh, hopefully this gives you a little flavor of the, the hard work that has been done in collaboration with Intel over the past couple of years. That's developing protocols for thermal, for durable, and for sustainable solutions using our copies all fluids and then putting them into real world applications in real, in real workloads that are quantifiable and, and measurable. And we're really excited about this because I think you heard about it yesterday at Zane's keynote speech, and that was around the idea of warranties and, and what's going to be extended. We're really pleased to report and announce that Lubrizol and Intel will have the first fully warrantied immersion-ready cooling solution. We're calling it CompuZol ICS, and if you come visit us over in booth number number B35, you'll get more information on this, but it's really about what support and service we can lend to you as you implement immersion technology in your data centers, your co-locations, wherever you're going with this next, how do we help you turnkey that solution into, into something that is able to be um, uh, enjoyed and, and, and appreciated and all the value that comes along with it is delivered. This is the outcome of a multi-year collaboration and we have also taken into consideration, as, as Pat mentioned, safety in, in our formulation approach. Not only is it additized with several different components that you can uh, learn about when you come visit us, but we've also taken into consideration the whole idea of safety with an, a unique anti-static additive solution that we've included in our CompuSol fluids. So we're really excited and we're hoping that this provides another way of, of the uh, delivering the assurance 
difference overcoming some of these industry barriers and accelerating adoption to immersion. So with that, we'll close and we would welcome you to come visit us over in booth number B35. Thank you very much.